Hello everyone, and today we're doing the Majin Buu arc, or saga, or whatever. Thanks to his father's, thanks to the father-son duo Goku and Gohan, Earth enjoys seven years of peace until one day. Goku hears that Gohan has entered the World Tournament and using the power of the fortune teller Baba. He returns to Earth for just one day to participate. However, upon meeting another contender, a Supreme Kai, he learns that the terrifying Majin Buu is on the verge of resurrection. To prevent Buu's return, Goku steps away from the tournament. He instead follows after the wizard Babidi and defeats his subordinates. However, Babidi leverages Vegeta's desire to settle the score with Goku to brainwash him. Babidi uses his powers to send Goku and the others back to the tournament arena. Are we back at the tournament arena? What's wrong with you? Not! Heedless of the spectators around them, Vegeta fires off a key blast. Goku uses all his strength to try and stop it, but... Vegeta, tell me it isn't true. You let Bobbity's spell take control of you, didn't you? Because doing something like this would make me fight you. It's true, isn't it? If I hadn't gone to these links, we wouldn't be about to fight. I had one day, one measly day in which to beat you, and I wasn't going to waste it standing around on that ship. That was your reasoning? You killed countless innocents to try and repair your meaningless pride? Meaningless? What do you know of meaningless? I don't give a damn about Majin Buu. All I want is my fight with Kakarot. Here and now, I will emerge as the victor once and for all. There's no reason he ever should have bested me. He and I are both Saiyans. But I was royalty among our people. I was a prince, yet he prevailed. He, he even had the impudence to save my life before. And that is an indignity I cannot bear. Bobbity, move us to some place where there's no one else around. I'll give Vegeta the fight he wants, but not here. <laughs> All right, then. Guess you can find somewhere else. <laughs> Vegeta and Goku are transported to another location, but Vegeta remains under Babidi's control. However, it turns out to be Vegeta's single-minded desire to defeat Goku that allows him to shake off Babidi's total control. For you to go this far, you must have wanted to settle the score real badly, huh, Vegeta? Can't lie, I get it. This might take longer than I thought. It'll be over soon enough when I kill you! Eat this! That's 
I can sense radical energy backed by the others. This Majin Buu creature must be really as powerful as the Supreme Kai was saying. I already told you, the only thing that matters to me is this battle. Everyone else can die for all I care. You're lying. Deep down, I know your soul is still the same, Vegeta. You nuisance! Goku intends to defeat Vegeta and Majin Buu, but Vegeta blindsides him and leaves with a Sensu Bean. He then risks his own life to attempt to defeat Buu himself. Farewell, Boma, Trunks, and even you, Kakarot. However, just after Vegeta lands a final fatal blow, Majin Buu immediately revives, going on to destroy the world with Babidi just as he wanted all along. Goku regains consciousness, and as he cannot sense Gohan's key, he assumes he is dead. Now, he must think of a plan to defeat Majin Buu. <coughs> He lands upon teaching the fusion technique to his son, Goten, and Vegeta's son, Trunks, which will allow them to combine to a fiercely powerful new fighter. After hearing that Buu has gone to destroy West City, it's decided that Trunks will go rescue the Dragon Radar. In an attempt to buy some time, Goku interrupts Majin Buu and shows the monster his further awakened form. All right, Majin Buu, kill this guy first, right now! Buu, here he is, first time! Come on, big guy! Why is somebody as strong as you taking orders from a shrimp like Bobbin? Nobody asked for your opinion. Majin Buu is a loyal servant, and he obeys my every command, if he knows what's good for him. Vegeta already tried the golden hair trick, and look what happened to him. Hold on. There's regular old Super Saiyan. Then there's a level beyond Super Saiyan. But further beyond that. I'm sorry this took so much longer than the others, but I haven't had as much practice with this one. This is what I call Super Saiyan 3. Hmm? 
Trunks is on the move. Hopefully that means he found the Dragon Radar and is leaving West City. And I wanted to do an ultimate. Oh well. Goku is able to buy sufficient time and uses instant transmission to return, leaving Majin Buu to kill Babidi and seize his independence. Goku expended his extraordinary amount of ki during the fight and as a result can only remain on Earth for a little while longer. He pours everything he has into training Goten and Trunks up until he, the very last minute. But unfortunately, the time for him to return to look out has come. Goku, I'm sorry, but it's about time we took you back to Otherworld. Right. I understand. <clears throat> What's the matter, Goten? Uh... Goten, honey. Do you want to give your dad a hug before he goes? Aw, oh, was that all? You should have said so, son. Bring it in. Goten, you take good care of your mom for me, okay? <laughs> well, that's it, everybody. I'll see you all on the other side. Goku has since returned to the other world. He uses instant transmission to be reunited with Gohan when he senses him training in the land of the Kais. By chance, Gohan breaks, breaks Elder Kai's seal for fi from 15 generations ago, and his latent potential is unleashed. Meanwhile on Earth, Goten and Trunks have fused to become Gotenks. The super warrior puts his all into fighting Majin Buu, but is ultimately unable to defeat him. A now powered up Gohan then rushes to Earth to defeat Buu. Goku sees him off and watches from the land of the Kais. Unfortunately, Gohan finds himself struggling against Buu, who had grown stronger after absorbing Gotenks and Piccolo. With Elder Kai's life force, Goku returns to the living. He takes the Kai's Patara earrings, which promises power greater than fusion, and heads to the Earth. Goku tries to use Patara earrings to fuse with Gohan, but before he can, Gohan is absorbed by Buu, leaving Goku between a rock and a hard place. Vegeta, meanwhile, is brought to Earth with the help of fortune teller Baba. Goku tries asking him to fuse, but Vegeta reject, rejects the idea outright. However, upon learning that Bulma has been killed and Trunks was absorbed, Vegeta has a change of heart. Ha ha! I finally found you! V Vegeta! Here, give it here! Wow, I'm charged fast. 
Watch and learn! Not so fast! Let's do this! That was my It's no use! Damn you! Damn you both! Kamehameha! What? Not winning as easily as you thought. Don't be such a baby about it. If it means anything, even I'm surprised at how easily I'm kicking your face in. Good lord, he is kicking my ass. Oh my god. I've had just about enough fun for one day. So I'm going to give you ten seconds to say your prayers before I wrap this up. This is bullcrap. Alright. Let's hope this plan's crazy enough to work. Vegito finds just the right opening that allows himself to be absorbed by Boo. At last, he rescues Gohan and the others and brings them to safety. However, by saving Majin Boo in the form in which he first appeared, the Boo before them changes into its purest form, one that lacks all self-control. Having become the embodiment of pure or of absolute destruction, he wreaks havoc upon Earth. The Supreme Kai helps Goku and his friends flee to the land of Kais, but Boo won't be deterred. Learning instant transmission, he goes after them. The battle that threatens to destroy the entire universe begins. Your strength is truly amazing. You've always been like this, ever since the day I first met you. You were prepared to meet a challenge, even when it was bigger than you were. First, I thought it was your loved ones, but it was your blind instinct to protect them that spurred you on and pushed you beyond your limits. And it's certain that was part of them. But over the years, I realized there was more, something else in the way you approach a battle. I used to fight for the sheer pleasure of it, sparing no one. I killed the dominance to feed my insatiable pride. But you need to fight to kill, or even to win. Only to test your limits and become the strongest you could possibly be. You showed mercy to everyone. As if you knew one day I would possess the tiniest sliver of a soul. And here I am, fighting alongside of you. You defy all logic. By some miracle, your compassion has rubbed off on me. Yet I still don't fully understand how you do it. How can you say and fight with such power? And at the same time, be so gentle. Perhaps it's my anger that you're blind to the truth for so long. Hang in there, Kekker. You are number one. I was hoping for better. <laughs> Ah, damn it. I'm not done yet. I'm gonna lose. Fuck!
I have done a disservice to Super Saiyan 3. This drink is truly amazing. I've always been like this, ever since the day I first met you. You were prepared to meet a challenge, even when it was bigger than you were. First, I thought it was your loved ones. That it was your blind instinct to protect them that spurred you on, pushed you beyond your limits. And certainly that was part of it. But over the years, I realized there was more. Something else in the way you approach a battle. I used to fight for the sheer pleasure of it, sparing no one. I killed the dominance to feed my insatiable pride. But you need to fight to kill, or even to win, only to test your limits and become the strongest you could possibly be. You showed mercy to everyone. As if you knew one day you would possess the tiniest sliver of the soul. And here I am, fighting alongside of you. I defy all logic. By some miracle, your compassion has rubbed off on me. Yet I still don't fully understand how you do it. How can you say and fight with such power? And at the same time be so gentle? Perhaps it's my anger that made me blind to the truth in so long. Hang in there, Kekaro. You are number one. <laughs> Kakarot, you can finish him off on your own. Just charge your energy all the way and vaporize this monster. Uh, what do you think I've been trying to do? I just didn't have a chance to concentrate. I can't focus my power. It's just so hard when he keeps coming at me. I only need a minute. One minute, that's all. Fine, then I'll make my stand against him for the next minute. And while he's occupied, you power up! Vegeta tries to buy time, but Majin Buu defeats him. It is now that Mr. Satan appears and declares that he will vanquish Majin Buu himself. Seeing this, Majin Buu attempts to kill Mr. Satan. But the original Majin Buu splits from Majin Buu and begins... Wait. But the original Majin Buu splits from Majin Buu and begins whatever. Goku, who is supposed to have been building up his ki, gets exhausted and in turn cannot sustain his transformation. Vegeta smiles wryly. Realizing that the tide has turned against them, but he also has an idea. Hey, Supreme Kai's and Dende! Do you hear me up there? If you can, then say something, damn it! Vegeta! He issues orders to Dende and the others and gathers the Namekian Dragon Balls. Vegeta then proceeds to revive Earth and all people killed by Boo. I think it's about time we let the people of Earth shoulder the burden for once. The plan is underway. It's time for you to create a spirit bomb. But even if I collect a little energy from all the people who are brought back, it still won't be enough to take down Boo. It won't just be a little bit. You'll get every ounce of spirit energy they can spare. <laughs> you really want to use the spirit bomb, Vegeta. And since I got it to go, I kind of feel like a brown dad. Okay, guys, it's all set. And you, you can, can speak not to just Earthling, but the whole universe if you want. That's more like it. Citizens of planet Earth, can you hear me? I like this new side of you, Vegeta. Nice going. Here we go. People of Earth, give me your energy. We need you. It's ready. Incredible warrior, Boo. It 
was you against the universe. You nearly won. I hope you can come back once more, but good. I want to fight you again, one on one, without all the loss. I'll be right there waiting for you, only stronger. Later. The evil Majin Buu is defeated by the Spirit Bomb, and Goku and the others return safely to Earth. All their friends come out to greet them, including their families. You mean you can stay now? We can all be together like a real family? You and Gohan and Goten are back and there's no catch? That's right! I can't wait to get to Mount Paozu and have some of your good old home cooking, Chi-Chi. Oh, come on, Chi-Chi, why are you crying? I thought it was good news. Goku is alive once more and has defeated Boo. Now he returns with, to his life as a family man. That is the Boo Saga.